concert, Yee? All right, well, it all started around 10 p.m. They were at Irving Plaza. The opening act was on the stage. Our guys, Mano and Uncle Murder, uh -huh. they were performing. And that is when somebody started shooting. Now, apparently, Troy Ab was the first victim. He got shot in the leg as he was entering the green room. And people started fleeing the room, and that's when the gunman exited also and started firing again. Damn. Now, apparently, a woman was shot in the leg. She is expected to survive. She's at Bellevue Hospital, and 50 Cent went and visited. He said, I'm here to support my friend. His girl was shot. What happened here is not good. Now, another man was shot in the chest and was declared dead. We told you earlier that was Troy Ave's friend slash security banger. So rest in peace to him and our condolences to his family and friends. A lot of responsibility put on that building, Irving Plaza. There's no way Irving Plaza security should have let somebody in there with the hammers, with the guns. All right, and there were two VIP rooms right next to each other. So T.I. had left the VIP room before the shooting even happened. So uh, clearly he had absolutely nothing to do with it. They still have not found that gunman. There's all kinds of cell phone video footage that has been circulating all around on the Internet. It had to be somebody, right? Like, it had to be, like, like somebody who's he was clearly tied targeting. to an artist or something. Yeah, yeah because I have to be able yeah. to be in the green yeah, room area. Back, stay backstage and not get searched. Clearly had to and it was mayhem out there. was over a thousand people. I actually had a meeting right around the corner from there, and I was driving past there. The street was crazy Listen, outside. Man, stop trying to thug. Thug life is dead. All that gangster tough talk, those gangster actions are whack. Gaba, just a whole other world out here, and I am enjoying it. You hear me? Right. Hey, 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 guess what? Ah. Uh, that's for Talk TV. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Wackley. I mean, this is season two. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button to show you support. As I bring you more breaking news stories to a computer screen near you, check out this news story at Gospel Talk TV on Twitter. Troy Ave. Yeah. Troy, I got the. <laughs> Welcome to the Satanic Club. Welcome to the Satanic Club. T.I. said, Who? I'm out of here. I can't afford to be in no heat. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. My handler, I have to suck some more kneecap just so my handler can get me out of it. Because, you know, T.I., he got off with all those. I'm going to keep trusting that. Come on. Any other individual got caught with all them damn pistols, not pistols, assault rifles, they would be doing life in the feds right now. But old sneaky T.I., old sneaky T., old sneaky I., then damn done did it. He done 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 slipped up and did it and got free. And then when he got free, he damn ended up getting locked up again. Him and uh Tiny T, Tiny T, you know that little gremlin that he he's married to with all them tattoos. Yeah, him and Tiny T was caught out in California with two pounds of meth. He got off of that. So of course he's gonna sneak his way out the back. He said, Hey, I gotta call my handler. Let me clear this up. But that's T.I. We're going to get on Troy Ave. Troy Ave! <laughs> Congratulations, Troy Troy. Congratulations, you little satanic little scumbag idiot, you. And guess what, Troy? You have joined the satanic Illuminati damn puppetry club. So now you can go on to worldwide big headliners. You can headline your own ass. Literally. Headline your own ass. Because that's what them Jewish people be doing in old bachelor parties to you. Headlining your ass. You gonna be shitting like a horse for the rest of your life, Troy Troy Ave. Shitting standing up. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, that's what you're gonna be doing. Troy Ave, you just did, did your sacrifice. Just like Chink's Drugs in French Montana. But Troy Ave then did it in the midst of a whole bunch of people. In the midst of a whole bunch of more satanic people. They're getting sneaky, y'all. They're getting sneaky. They got this. They did this sacrifice in the midst of a whole lot of other artists so that the truth seekers and the real Illuminati reporters out there have to them do some extra work to find out which sacrifice it was. Well, we all know that this sacrifice was Troy Avenue's sacrifice. Good riddance to bad rubbish because she who got killed, shot and killed, obviously was not with the Most High God, was not following the Most High God, was not following the commandment. Because if she was, she wouldn't be in the circle of demons. Literally, she was in a circle of demons. So, when you're in a circle of demons, the devil comes to do what? Kill, steal, and destroy. So, ha, huh, that sacrifice got killed, killed, kill, steal, and destroyed. 
So, therefore, listen, listen, man. I'm going to tell you this. If you're in the midst of demons, you got to expect demonic shit to happen to you. If you're in the midst of Christians, good God-fearing Christians, you got to expect some good shit to happen to you. So, that is the definition of... That is the definition of right and wrong. There's a right way to do things, and there's a wrong way to do things. Listen now, this woman who got shot and killed did it the wrong way. So, she went the wrong way. Literally, she didn't go up to the Most High God. She went the wrong way. She went to hell in the handbasket because she liked Choi Ab that much. She liked Choi Ab that much that she said, Go ahead and take my soul and cast it through the fire of Moloch because I want to be with Moloch. Not Troy F. Hey, Troy. Troy, Troy. Troy, 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 boy, nigga. Listen, man. Troy F. Troy, Troy. Are you happy now? You happy? You done join that satanic circle. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do with your fame? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What you gonna do? Anyway, anyway, this is all sacrifice. This is some BS. This is what happens when you're in the midst of demons. When you're in the midst of demons, you gotta expect some dem de demonic shit to happen to you. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Y. Glimmy. This is season two. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, share your support. As I bring you more breaking news stories to a computer screen near you. You can also show your support by checking this news story out at Gospel Talk TV on Twitter. And also, Michael Y. Glimmy is the Facebook page. M I C H A E L W A K L I M I. Go there, follow me on the, on Facebook, because every evening around between 7 and 8 o'clock, we go live with questions and answers and live Bible teaching. You want to hear the truth? Ha, the truth shall make you free. So go on over to Facebook and type that follow button so that you can be notified when we go live every evening between 7 and 8 o'clock. That Facebook name is M I C H A E L W A K L I M I. Until next time, stay tuned. Peace out, Troy.